Or Asiri, Asiri now driving it down to the wing position. has been tapped on. Players left, right and centre here trying to get hold of the ball. Very scrambly play. Purser again, as usual. Handball's out of trouble. Oh, a head on match there. And a mark and a safe mark taken by Royal. Hopefully he can find someone to kick it to. Yes, he's looking for Brad Hardy, uncontested. And that was very unnecessary, Glendinning, although I think it's a bit of a Academy Award there, Steph. Yeah, I think there was a bit more. I think there was a bit more Gregory Peck than uh, yes. Johnny Famishon in that one. Ah, well, that's what and, you uh, get, you see, for being a Brownlow medalist. An unusual little uh, piece of footy trivia there, with the two West Australian Brownlow medalists both wearing number four. That is good trivia. Brad Hardy and Ross Glendinning. A couple of champion players. I think uh, any Western Australian would be very proud to know that they're from there. Well, let's have a look at Brad Hardy. He's played a pretty reasonable game today with another West Australian, Andrew Purser. The reigning Brownlow medalist, Brad Hardy, comes in. He's kicked straight through the middle. And that cuts the gap just that little bit more. 18 points the margin now as Footscray moved to two goals, five, 17 behinds, trailing North Melbourne, 4 11, 35 on the Pro Football scoreboard. Yes, well, that was quite interesting. Brad Hardy was left uncontested. Hardy and uh, Harvey, Hawkins, all the H's. It's Purser over the top. Comes down towards left centre wing. Long hand pass taken away by McGuinness. He gets it on to Hardy. Hardy from left half forward flank. Ezard in pursuit. Hardy likes a goal. Has he got one? I think so. Oh, oh, that was great play. And good play on the part of, uh, I think it was Petraglia, blocked the Footscray, the uh, Eston player from getting clear, Pete. 9 8 62 to 7 7 49. A purple patch for the Bulldogs. Well, they're looking good. He wants it again. Good hand pass. Well, he makes position here for Hawkins, and Hawkins gives him the long hand pass. Now he takes advantage of this, runs over the 50-meter mark, and that was well blocked that time. Stopped Azard from getting to him, and of course he put it through.